Oh yes, the village have changed a lot. But uh, it's still not bad. It's still mm. not bad. I, I, I got no enemies anyway in the village. That's one good thing. Yes, he scored till I was 11 year old and then we sat to Frankfurt. Yeah. But we had to walk there. There was no school buses mm -hmm. running out. We had to walk there across the fields. And that wasn't, that wasn't really nice, not when it was wet. Get to the Franklin and get there, wet when I sat there all day in wet clothes at school. That wasn't very helpful. Mm -hmm. We worked up at Long Sace for French, Master French. Mm -hmm. Worked up there at Lower Marid in, what was it, 19, 1942. So it was still 21, mm. 1922 and 21, 1943, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I had a damn good marriage and all. Well, I did from when I left school up to, oh, I must have been 55, I should think, when I had the job off of me on the buildings, labouring. Mm. And I went on there, and that's really with Spen at Law. And then, uh, after so many years that he closed the firm down and I just went on my own building for the time being, just as I retired. So I, wor I worked up there, you see, mm. out along the farm there. And I worked, I went from there then up into the farm ice. Well, that bloody hard work then. There was no, uh, no tractors out of them up and it was on every bit of them in them up and sheds and all was all cleaned out with a four-tone fork. And that was damned hard work, I tell you. And that was putting heaps across the field, and then you went across the field and then spread it. That was that was work in that day. That was, you know, I've always been a gardener. I was, well, I'm not a gardener, but I've always enjoyed my garden. I mean, those cuts up there are all cuts for garden cuts. And I mean, that night in the shed out there, in about 28 there, they were all gardening cuts. Oh, yeah, good story while you rained. Finley or Tingewick, you know, we're on the side of the mixed breed, and those villages there. Even? Evenly, Westbury, that was what I was experiencing. I finished up at um, Lee Street, and that's where I finished up. Yeah. Well, that's where I finished up. Yeah. 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 There was never nothing to it. You never got paid. You didn't want paid. You done it voluntarily. But everybody was sociable and all that there that time of day. There was no... Because somebody hadn't won the prize at a show, there was no niggling and fighting over it. But today there is. Mm. I mean, when you were ploughing, I mean, you didn't do like this here, ploughing. You got its traits. And when your neighbours come along, they could look down there and it was always competition, the ploughing. And that was. So you could keep the straightest lines. Yeah, well, it was always a pleasure that coming kind of day, but today is nothing of that doing. It's the way it seems to all gone. Oh, I'd be a cow up in the field up here. What used to be the old allotments. Mm -hmm. And I took the old lot over. Well, you are some left unto me for life. Mm -hmm. I got the letter in the bedroom. And he's left them all there for me for life. And mm -hmm. We had our own cow and uh, had our own milk, made our own butter. So I've got me butter and maker up in the loft up there now. Well, it was all right, it was good, because you, you I mean, it was right when they first brought the old tractor date, there was no, uh, no covers over them, you were just sitting in the open work, and I tell you what, when you were playing that, it was bloody cold, <laughs> and it was, but then with the old horses, you was walking up and down behind them, I mean, you had two horses on the single for a play, but you always had three horses on the double for a play, mm. well, you learned to do that up at uh, Mong Safe, when the French was up there. Mm. See, we never married. You see, got men family, no wife or nothing. Mm. Well, we used to have to take the on to the main road, the Newton Purcell. But then we did get them in the finish, get them to come down by the lodge in the park there. We used to take it down to there. Because mm. I wouldn't so far to go. Not, not. Yeah, we should, well, I mean, that got me up there by 8 o'clock in the morning. I mean, we didn't enough. go by train. No, no. No, well, my father could remember taking milk to Finmere Station. Yeah. And went on the train to London. Yeah. And I had to be there early in the morning. Yeah. And this was, what well, was milk, we made about 48 k's up there for George Maracom. Mm. And they'd all got to be milked and the milk up on the stand there at 8 o'clock in the morning. So he was milking k's at 5 o'clock. Mm. About the time I was up at Shelbyshaw.
a lot of the time mm. because the shells were parked, you've got all the old aeroplanes and that line. Mm. And the big ace and that uh, air raft loops were all down there and in the old cottages and that thing there. Mm. It was a real level. I mean, that was real. Well, you think I didn't get caught up in the alley because I was sort of running the farm out. Mm. And the farm ace is what they like. We've never bought the tighter. We were married in, uh, what, 19, 1943, I think it was. I was 21. And we never bought a vegetable since. An orpetiker. Right. But I enjoyed my garden then. I mean, that garden up the road now, you, know, you just want to have a look at that and see the stuff coming up in there now. I mean, the broad beans are up, as tall as that. I mean, the onions are up, the beetroot are up, the carrots are all up, and the first lot of potatoes are up. And I had that, give me, Drew Harrison, give me that piece of one. Right? Oh. It used to be three, three little bits of that, roadside gardens. Oh. And it was all grown up with briars and so on, bushes and everything. I asked him one day if he'd grown tight, and he just told me, he said, if you want it, he said, you can have it. And he had it go and it went to um, Old Solicitor at Mister. Well, I got him out of Joe Harrison, I mean, was, well, I don't know why, but we never had a bit of problem. We have been damn good friends with Joe Harrison. And if I was out here anywhere when he would come down, he always come down here to church on a Sunday morning. He'd jump off his old bike and stop and have a chat with him. When I was doing all the operations on this house, because it's an old hatch place, you see, when I took it over. And he always used to stop and say something like, Oh, you're getting on well, Toby, you are making a good job of it. Yeah, the old boy that was called Rusty, wouldn't it? The old boy was called Rusty. <laughs> he used to come down on Sunday morning at church on it. Oh. Yeah. He wasn't a bad old boy, though. He got in the same with the load of wood. If a tree fell down in the park or along the cottage road, those beech trees, if one of those fell down, he only cut it so as it cleared the road. He wouldn't touch a bit of that wood till everybody had been had what they wanted and they just left the big pieces as they oh. couldn't manage. He, he was a damn good old boy along there, like that was, and that wood was handy that time of day. Oh. We used to start on Florida, me and the wife. Oh. We went to Wales a couple of times, but we didn't like Wales, not like we did Scotland. Scotland's country so there was bloody mad. And all that. Yeah. Yeah, we had an already with me for a few years now because the boys got to be able to get a bait. Well, I don't get a bait as fast as I did, you know, all night, but still coming up. Too bad, you yeah, haven't well, got the trouble. It's a lot easier and safer than the bloody paraffin lamps and candles. Because I know there's one or two of them when the kids went to bed with a candle and that day, like, Knocking the bait with it and had the bloody ace on the fire, you know. Not to burn the ace out, eh, but it was caught before on, but there was one or two nasty little accidents there. Uh. In 19, 1933, the only water that was in the whole of the village was what they called, on the fair end of that field over there, what they called the Iron Spring. And that was a spring that was coming up out the ground and used to run into the brook. No, old Harrison had a pump on a big stand right up in the air so the farmers could get their car underneath to fill the barrels. And that was the only water that was in the village. People used to come from the top case laces down across that field along the bottom of that field there. That's all it was that time. No, I'm serious, right? I see up in that field where I went up there, up there now. There's a well there, but that was dry in no time. It's a good dry. That's where that old pump come from, and he said, like, that old pump out the back, that's where that come from. I think that field out of the old one. Mm -hmm. And there them two pipes just on the side of the road, they used to run well in the winter. Water just run down there and down in the drains and that, but as soon as the weather dried up a bit, they would run. Oh, I had a damn good life. I can't run about nothing at all. No, I had a good happy marriage. Two damn good kids, one boy and a girl, when neither one of them brought us ever a hype of the trouble. And if we were in trouble, they were soon here. <laughs>